Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different by building the ultimate portable movie and game setup using the Steam Deck. We'll go over what it is, what it's made of, and how I use it, so stay tuned. First up is a disclaimer. This video was sponsored by Ugreen, who sent me the following products to test. The Nexode RG 30 watt charger, the Nexode RG 65 watt charger, the Rove Dock 7-in-1 hub, and the Nexode 65 watt 7-in-1 charging station. Ugreen was able to review the script and video before publishing, but the only changes I made were purely factual. Again, no non-factual changes were made in any way as it goes against my code of ethics, and I only accept sponsors with products that I really believe in and personally use. I'd also like to take this moment to say that I've been using Ugreen products for years. As a matter of fact, the only charger that I brought back with me from Sweden was Ugreen's 100 watt GAN charger. All that said, I put all the products in the video today through the maximum amount of testing I could through daily use and anywhere I could do extra testing. I don't have any formal power delivery equipment or anything, so I'm doing what I can with what I can, and then later on the channel I'll try to amp up my testing. I made sure to use every port available on every device simultaneously. I also made sure to test both indoors and outdoors on a sunny day and a cold night to test their reliability in everyday use. During the day, the ambient temperature was 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. And at night, the ambient was 55 Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius. With that out of the way, let's move on to the premise. When I first got the Steam Deck, one of the first things I thought of was having a portable computer to deploy and watch movies or play games with friends and family no matter where we were. This video is a culmination of that, with a focus on price, portability, ease of use, and only using a single power socket for the whole setup. So let's get into the meat of the video and talk about what's in the pack. As usual, there will be links in the description below and affiliate links where available. Firstly, we need something to hold most of our accessories, and I chose the JSOX shoulder bag since it strikes a great balance of portability and compactness. Secondly, we have the Steam Deck itself. If you're not familiar with the deck, I recommend checking out my previous video here to see the Steam Deck buyer's guide that I put together. The deck is the brains of the operation, allowing us to carry around a powerful gaming computer wherever we go. Next, we have a portable projector by Elephus. This little guy is 1080p with a full HDMI port and only consumes 50 watts of power, which makes it perfect for the single outlet setup we're going for. Unfortunately, it's a little too big for the JSOX bag, but it comes with its own carrying case and would easily fit in a backpack or clip to the JSOX bag if you wanted. To hook the deck up to external power and the projector, I'll be using the Ugreen Rove Dock 7-in-1 hub. It's small enough to fit basically anywhere, unlike a standard docking station, and in conjunction with the JSOX mod case and kickstand attachment, we have a very portable setup. And then we get to the power by Ugreen. For maximum portability and power, I'll be relying on the Nexode 65 watt 7-in-1 charging station, allowing us to turn a single outlet into all the power we need. All of the chargers Ugreen provided use their gallium nitride tech, so they are very small for the power they provide. As a result, it's compact enough to fit in the JSOX carrying case, has three outlets, two USB-C ports, and two USB-A ports. The USB ports provide a total of 65 watts of power, allowing us to charge the deck, my Apple Watch, and the phone recording this footage all at the same time. In my testing, I found that the surface only heated up to 41 degrees Celsius in the sun, even when running 680 watts through the outlets and a full 65 watts through the USB ports. If you just need a charger much smaller than the default Steam Deck brick and don't have a portable projector, then you'll definitely be interested in either the Nexode RG 30 watt charger or the 65 watt variant. Both of these have cute robot aesthetics, the feet come off to show the plug, and the purple variant even comes with a little bow. Their feet are magnetic, although only the 30 watt variety has enough power to stick to my fridge vertically, which is a shame. The smaller options come with a single USB-C port and show cute faces to reflect the charging status and then turn off when there's nothing connected. The larger 65 watt option has two USB-C ports and a USB-A port, plus the added feature of keeping a face on when the charger is idle. 
My testing showed that the 30 watt chargers capped out around 34 C and the 65 watt charger got up to 39 C, both in the sun, and were able to handle a charge at high speed for 4 straight hours. As someone who uses a lot of these chargers, it's really impressive that they manage to stay so cool after a sustained load in such a small package, which can likely be attributed to a combination of Ugreen's GANFAST and ThermalGuard tech. According to Ugreen, the ICs in the Nexode RG series chargers have 95% efficiency on energy conversion, and their ThermalGuard chip adjusts power output in real time, based on internal temperatures, to keep the chargers and devices safe. The 30 watt version will supply enough power to charge the deck, but not at full load, and it's minuscule compared to the default brick, while the 65 watt version will charge the deck from 0 to 50% in just 49 minutes while the deck was asleep, and has enough power to charge the deck during heavy gameplay. The Nexode RG65 watt was actually able to charge my overclocked Steam Deck, so if I wasn't using a projector, this is the charger I'd carry around. As for the price, everything I use for the projector setup cost $270 total as of the time of this recording, excluding the Steam Deck. Speaking of carrying, let's head out and set everything up. Setting up is incredibly easy as long as you have a single outlet. Just plug the projector and rove dock into the charger, connect the dock to the projector with the included HDMI cable, plug the Nexo charger into the outlet, and lastly connect the Steam Deck to the dock. From there, use the deck as you would with any screen and enjoy. Teardown is just as easy, and I was able to do it with only the light from the campfire in the footage here. Alternatively, when you're not on the go, you can use the Nexode 7-in-1 charging station on your desk. It looks great, provides easy access to all the charging ports you could need, comes with a sticky pad to stick it in place, and even has outlets if you want to use the adorable little Nexode chargers for some extra ports. As someone who hates a giant tangle of cables underneath my desk, it's awesome to have a great connect and forget solution where I can just connect exactly what I need to charge. With 65 watts of capacity, I'm able to charge my 14 inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro under load with my MagSafe cable, and it's much more versatile than the stock Apple brick. If I want to speed up charging even more, or charge something with a proprietary connector, then I just use the outlets to hook up the stock power brick for whatever device I need charged. No need to reach under the desk. Alright, and with that, I would like to thank everybody for watching as well as you, Green, for sponsoring this video. I genuinely love their products, and I have for a few years now, so it was great seeing their email in my inbox last month. Make sure to check out the new Nexode chargers, the charging station, and the Rove dock in the description below. You'll probably see them in some of the upcoming videos in the background, as I plan to use them for the foreseeable future. I'd also like to apologize for my, um, impromptu setup here. As you can see, I don't even have a mic arm yet. I just arrived in the US a few weeks ago, and I've been dealing with a family emergency, so I haven't had time to actually restock everything yet. But you'll see this rapidly change in the next few videos, don't worry. We'll be back to my normal quality soon enough. Alright, and as always, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.